channel or welcome if you're new it's Saturday morning 9 a.m. I need to head out like kind of now kind of in a few minutes <laughs> to go and help out my friend Sophie at her Pilates studio again I did this last week too basically she just opened recently and so just while she's like getting her footing she's like teaching almost all of the classes I have nothing better to do so I have been just like helping her out um, on the days where she needs it. So Saturday mornings have been like the day she's been needing me the past couple weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over, help her check people in and get people settled and everything for like all of her morning classes. And then, well not all of her morning classes, but like I guess her mid morning to afternoon classes cause they're kind of just like stacked all morning long. Um, and then I'm gonna head out around lunchtime and go grocery shopping. I think also Michaela, my friend, wants me to take uh, pictures of her today for Instagram and I know she wants to use my house to film a video. So that's gonna be happening today but I'm going grocery shopping. I'm gonna do my Sunday grocery shop on Saturday because I, tomorrow, um, I'm gonna clean in the morning but then I'm gonna be getting a massage in the afternoon so I figured it would just be easier if I went grocery shopping today. And also, Michaela and Sophia are gonna come over tonight and we're gonna make dinner, so I wanna get groceries for that. And we're gonna like watch a movie, bake cookies, like whatever. So, that's the plan for today. Um, nothing crazy, but figured I would take you guys along, vlog it. I wanna vlog the massage tomorrow, so I think I'm gonna make this like maybe a two-part vlog, like Saturday and Sunday, or maybe I'll make it two different vlogs, I'm not totally sure. And then also, you guys, Oh, that's my bread. I toasted my bread, but I forgot to plug the air fryer in, where, which is where I toast my bread, so it wasn't toasting. But anyways, let me talk while I butter this because I literally do have to go, like, right now. Um, but on Monday, I think, yeah, Monday, I'm getting a spray tan. <laughs> I don't know why. I just decided that I want to, so I'm going to this place. And I'm gonna get a spray tan literally just for fun because I, I don't know I just want to see what's up with it I don't know like I don't self tan and I am not used to like being this pale because in Florida I feel like even in the winter time like you can still go outside every once in a while and like keep up a small tan and I've lived I lived there for like three years so like it's weird for me to be this pale and I don't know I just felt like I might as well consider like a little self-care thing and get a spray tan I'm gonna be tan soon because I'm going on a trip I guess that's like a hint but I figured you guys probably assumed I was going somewhere warm I feel like I often do but anyways um speaking of that I'm so excited for my trip I like needed to be here ASAP. Heading out now to the body studio. I have to admit something to you guys. So I know like a few months back, like October, November, I said that I was gonna go get my tires changed because there's definitely a slow leak in one of them and the thing is I never did that I've just continued to refill and refill the tire um, and not actually get to the root of the problem which is I need a new tire I've just been filling it up and prolonging how long I can go but the it, the time is up it's time to get that fixed so that's gonna happen next week I insist I must do it next week I'm also really sad because I have some pimple patches on over here but my skin totally broke out and just makes me sad because I don't I don't know it's like every time I feel like I have a handle on it 
I don't. Which is frustrating. Let's go drive. I'm working on my coffee. Also, my stomach like hurts from, I had Giada last night and I feel like the sub is still sitting in my stomach. Like I feel like it hasn't digested yet. Do you guys know what I mean? Okay. I gotta go, I don't wanna be late. stop and get groceries on the way home just because I don't want to go all the way home and then go back out but I am super hungry so I don't know if I should <laughs> go grocery shopping hungry or what I think I'm gonna and then either like make a quick lunch or order something to have afterwards just honestly yeah it's a good idea because I'm also Okay, wait, let me not get hit by a car. But I also um, won't be eating dinner till later because we're not gonna eat till after dance. Oh, I also have to do returns. Ugh. I hate getting into my car when I'm parked on the side of the road. Also, why is it kind of cold? It's like really windy and the sun is warm, so. Oh, I just got absolutely locked up. Just got to Whole Foods. That drive wasn't too bad. I put on a new Dexcom yesterday. And if you guys don't know, like the first 24 hours or so with the new Dexcom, sometimes they're not like totally, totally accurate. Like some, a lot of times you have to kind of calibrate them. And I don't know if I'm just like hungry and highly caffeinated right now, or if my blood sugar is lower than I think it is. Um, so I'm just gonna check my blood sugar really quick because like symptoms of low blood sugar like like Just like not severe low blood sugar would just be like kind of feeling just like a little bit shaky or like Feeling just sort of like Hungry and sort of just like the life is kind of sucked out of you. That's like when it's like not severe severe um which is like the same as when you're hungry and have a lot of caffeine in you. So I'm not really sure what the case is because I am hungry and do have a lot of caffeine in me. Yeah, okay. I'm just hungry and have a lot of caffeine in me because I'm 113, which, hey Siri, what's my glucose? Okay, viewing. You're 114 and steady. Yeah, this Dexcom's actually really accurate. It's been really accurate since I put it on, which I feel like is it's rare for it to like not need a calibration at all when you first put it on so yay okay I'm gonna run in I'm really hungry so this might be bad news but I'm honestly so hungry that I'm kind of nauseous so <laughs> maybe it's like a good thing oh let me bring in my Amazon return I just got back from Whole Foods and I was so hungry I could not talk to you guys I needed to eat so I put all the groceries away and ate some lunch just made like some chicken sausage avocado whatever random bowl of stuff but look at this, you guys. I got this bouquet of tulips, and by the time they got home, they looked like this. Literally, what is that? So hopefully they'll spring back to life, because respectfully, that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. But I'm aware that this vase is like too, the neck of it's too slim for this bouquet, but it's fine. Hi, here. But anyways, my friends are gonna be here soon probably in about 20 minutes or so. And they got some work stuff to do. Well, Michaela does. I think Sophie's gonna help her. I'm gonna help her a little bit. And yeah, just, she has pictures to take. She has a video to film. And I, once they get here, I'm going to get us all drinks and whatnot. But for now, 
I'm just gonna chill out. Hope that my tulips perk up. I want a piece of gum because I just had some chili crunch and now my whole mouth tastes like chili crunch. Guys, okay, let me sit. <laughs> Dance. and I'm not gonna lie the vibes there on us totally we were like tired but now we're like amped up so I don't know what happened there yeah it was just like, oh. you guys were not like feeling it no, no I was like just it. like tired yeah and like I hurt my neck guys I was doing the dance I like I have it on video you can't like tell but I like whip my hair I finish I, like, it whip my I like whip my hair I go over to Sophie I'm like <laughs> yeah, she goes, I was like <laughs> she goes like she was pissed. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna have to sit out. I'm like, I can't. I'm out. I'm out for the rest. I was. I was. Wait, Sophie got called. Sophie, yes. in the video. I saw it. Right. I was like, wait, when are you gonna see the, your professional video? Like the yeah. sweet. Yeah. Cause she just posted the feedback one like today. Yeah. It, it takes Sophie. And we've learned that she puts this song out like a week after. Mm -hmm. I mean, a week after the day. Of. Wait, I want to see her. Um, I sent it to you on Snapchat. Well, mm. now. The deal is It was my it was my pants. It was your pants. I know. We decided that like the choreographer pulls her friends and people who have like <laughs> like outfits that stand out. Like mine. And her say want, I want milk on her butt. Oh, and like Scott, she pulls all these girls that have like these beautiful like fishnet, long legs, butt. They look amazing. And I'm like, let me sit this. <laughs> I'm like, that's I'm, not true. Listen, she was I'm really a sexy. Female gaze, so it's gonna come across differently. Like, yeah. Insert video of us dancing. Not me dancing. We didn't dance together this time because our video had the rules. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I went pee during the clock. <laughs> what? <laughs> I went pee, like, like That's I went, and then like, there was like other groups going, so I went pee, and I didn't wash my hands, because I wanted to get back out quickly, so like, yeah. ew. But also, what? Sat on an entire bladder of pee on the toilet seat. Ew. And didn't realize, so I pulled my pants back up, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm wearing gray pants. So I'm like holding them out like this, like trying not to get the wet until uh -huh. it dries, like on my pants. Any hoozy doozy, we're making burgers. Burgers. Yeah. Burgers. Made cookies. You made cookies. I made cookies, and <laughs> they're suspicious. They taste, they taste like a little, little bit like, Wait, I think I just should have so used like bad. vegetable oil. Uh -huh. It did say it didn't say to use olive oil. You're not supposed to bake with olive oil. You're not? No. Just put a 
white chicken chili recipe I found online. My hair. <laughs> um, I found it on Pinterest and I put that in the crock pot to eat later tonight. Um, but I'm not going to lie. I woke up really not feeling well mentally. Um, really just have had a hard morning. And definitely feels heavy today and I'm just not feeling my best but I do want to finish off this vlog for you guys because doing so will make me feel like I don't know I just I like making videos for you guys so I feel like it's it'll feel nice to to do and whatever but um bear with me <laughs> if I lack a personality and bear with me as I look like this because it was one of those days where I couldn't I couldn't I don't know getting out of bed was hard today you know, but I, as much as I want to lay in bed and sulk today, I want to be productive with my day and try not to wallow for too much longer. So I'm going to clean my house. It is Sunday. I went grocery shopping yesterday, so I don't have to do that, but I am going to clean at least like a little and I do feel like it needs a good clean, so we're going to do that. Try to have the best day we can. We are getting a massage in a couple hours, though, so that'll be nice. But just want to say good morning. Also, sadly, my skin has fully broken out again, which doesn't help <laughs> how I'm feeling. Not that that matters, but it's just like it does matter to me. Let's get to cleaning. I'm not gonna film it because you guys have seen me clean too many times, but yeah. And then we'll have lunch and then we'll get a matcha and we'll try to have a good day. So if you're having a hard day too, it's okay. Um, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> House is all clean, except I think my vacuum broke, which is annoying. <laughs> I don't know, like, hi, sir. I just love you. I don't know what I would do without you. Are you my sweetest boy? I just want to cry looking at you. Literally my eyes are tearing up because I love him so much. But he also just fell down the stairs. It was really sad, but he's fine. You fell down the stairs, huh? Were you embarrassed? Yeah, he got pretty embarrassed. But finished cleaning. What I was saying though was my vacuum like broke. I, I'm sure it's like something I can fix. I just don't have the patience to look at it today. But I don't understand why everything like, like my parents had this like big clunker vacuum like my entire life. And it was like literally from like the year 2000 and worked forever. Like what happened to those vacuums? Can I still get those? Cause I want one. Like I want a big clunker with the, that's like, you still have to plug it in and it has like the two pieces. Like I want that. I want one that like actually works. Cause, well, and now I'm like, but maybe I kind of want to get my robot vacuum again. If this one's broken, broken, but I'm only going to do that if it's like actually broken. Cause I don't want to buy a new vacuum if I don't have to. But if I'm going to buy a new vacuum, this one didn't even, work better than the like i feel like the shark or the, the shark or any robot vacuum like is still better maybe because then i don't have to like do anything if it's like i don't know i don't know vacuums just like suck <laughs> kind of but it's almost one and i honestly have to leave like in an hour or so. So I'm making myself a quick little lunch. Don't have an appetite right now, but obviously I need to fuel myself. So I'm just gonna make like kind of what sounds good, which is I'm making a chicken sausage, which these are the uh, mushroom and Italian herb ones. And I really like these, these are good. And I'm gonna heat that up and then I'm gonna do a little bit of cucumber and some hummus. And I think I'm gonna make like little 
like lettuce wraps of literally hummus, cucumber, and chicken sausage. It's better than nothing and you know, that's just what we're gonna do today. So sometimes I wonder what, how my life would improve if I went on some sort of anti-anxiety medication. I don't know. Just, I just guess I just wonder like what, maybe it, like what my life would be like if I felt like I could breathe. <laughs> but like, oh my God, let me not cry. I don't wanna cry. I just hate this. I hate how I feel and I just hate it. Finished up lunch. Honestly, it was really good. So <laughs> at least I was like enjoying it, you know? Um, but it's 1.16 and I am going to go and walk to get a matcha. I wish that there was like an easier way to like bring you guys when I wanted or like when I go on these walks, but like then I have to walk with a big camera and normally what I do is like I go and get a matcha and then just sort of like walk around for a bit. Um, and so I don't want to be like lugging you guys, you know? So we're gonna do that. It'll be good to get Augie out. Um, some extra exercise. We went on our walk this morning, but he just loves his walks and I love the walks. And so we we'll walk for a little bit. Usually on these afternoon walks, like in the morning, I always listen to podcasts and stuff and like have my headphones in. And then usually on these afternoon walks, I just like listen to what's around or scroll on my phone or something like that. I normally don't bring my headphones though, so gonna head out. I only have like a little while till I'm leaving for the massage, but now we like, I think we're gonna end up going, but maybe not. All right, heading out to the massage now. We were like in debate. We're like, should we even go? Cause all of us are just like having a day today. Something must be in the air. But we were like, you know what? Let's just go like, nothing like we're not gonna like feel worse because we went to a massage so we're gonna go um and i'm working on my matcha it's really good i missed it yesterday when i didn't have it so enjoying this i have a little bit of a drive because this place is over in santa monica so yeah, gonna get there at 227, 27. My lucky number, I wanna get 27 tattooed on me at some point. But I'm just gonna listen to some music. I feel so dry, like I don't wanna be making like a boring vlog for you guys, but I also know that you guys like when I show life and like real emotion so I'm doing this because this is real but I feel just like completely checked out like I just feel like glazed over like I'm like a bot like I'm I'm a bot I feel like a robot gosh you guys okay the lighting is so bad right now probably should have waited to start this clip but that was great great massage with willow spa in santa monica and it was really good like it was just it wasn't like a super intense anything it was like pressing on a lot of like pressure points and like things like that and there's a lot of like there was a lot of scalp which I really liked. And I forget exactly what the massage I got was called, but it was like the like magnesium one. So they use like magnesium lotion. But, ugh, my neck, like it was so tight. There was so many knots in my neck, so. Need to be careful with that thing. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, he's gonna, we'll just start barking because the dog outside just barked, but. 
I just came in and oh my gosh, that chili smells absolutely unreal. So good. I hope it tastes good. But it's about 4.30 and actually the drive home wasn't bad. The drive there was so long. I was 10 minutes late and I was getting so stressed. I don't think I, I mean, I feel like I've probably mentioned this, but I'm not a late person. I am a 10 minutes early person and then I wait in my car and walk in five minutes early or right on time person. Like I am timely. I have one thing I can say confidently is my time management is impeccable. I, it, it is so good. <laughs> like that is like one of my greenest flags, my time management. Anyways, my drive there was super long and I was late and I was so stressed and I kept crying. Every song was making me cry. Literally wouldn't even be a sad song. I would cry. Not fun, but it's 4.30. I'm going to make myself some electrolytes because like I said, well, I didn't say, but like you guys saw, I got a massage and I can tell that it was like actually a good massage, like effective massage because I'm kind of sore and I feel like that's like a good sign. But I think I'm going to find out how I can watch the Super Bowl because I want to watch Usher perform. So I'm mean, gonna, I think I can watch it with Prime. Amazon Prime. Just kidding. Anything that I can watch it on, I'd have to pay for, and I'm not paying. <laughs> I'm gonna text my dad and ask if he has any subscriptions to anywhere that I can watch it. That was literally such a good shower. I shaved my whole body, exfoliated, washed my hair, all that, because tomorrow, I don't know if I said, but I'm actually getting a spray tan. <laughs> I literally don't know why, I just decided that that would be something exciting to do, so I just shaved and exfoliated. I didn't wash my face yet because I'm going to be eating dinner and stuff and I don't want to like have chili all over my face all night long, but just rinsed it with some water and put on some moisturizer. And now I'm going to fully rot like i'm gonna put on my pajamas i'm going to finish making the chili and then literally sitting on the couch eating my chili all night long i also figured out uh how to watch the game i had to just get a paramount plus account which is like, I'll pay $5.99. Oh, I can also cancel it. But, like, I'll pay $5.99 a month or whatever. But the other things I was finding, it was like 80 bucks. It was like, wanted me to pay 80 bucks. And I was like, okay, yeah, no. I'm literally so cozy right now. <laughs> um, but I'm probably going to put on this sweatshirt. And I just think it's funny because... Patriot sweatshirt. <laughs> Guys, I can't make this up. I missed the halftime show. <laughs> literally, what? I literally missed the halftime show. Well, I'm massively disappointed, but I'm sure I can find it online. Anyways, gonna finish off the chili. I'll link the recipe I'm using down below. I didn't even realize, but it's half baked harvest. Um, but I cooked it in a crock pot. It's not like traditionally a crock pot recipe like she has it for like normal cooking okay i'm gonna go ahead and add four ounces of cream cheese it's supposed to be room temperature but whatever oops didn't realize that so let's see this is eight ounces so i'm gonna do half of this obviously i should have done this sooner but i'm gonna add the juice of an entire lime and then i'm gonna go ahead and zest a bit of the lime as well. Okay. Yum. I'll do a full official taste test now. I added lime, squeeze of a lime, avocado. Oh, I need to get cilantro. Wait, one sec. Me coming over with a little bushel of 
cilantro. Ugh, yum. Put some cilantro on there too, actually a good bit. And then I have an unhealthy obsession with the chili onion crunch stuff. So I did in fact add that in here as well. Let's try it. Mmm, yum. Hold on, I need to get another bite so I can really collect my thoughts. Post Malone. Mmm, this is good. The chili crunch added a good, oh, Gwen Stefani. Yeah, this is good. The chili onion crunch, then cilantro, added what was missing. Beyonce's blonde right now. I have someone joining me. Do you think my chili smelled good? I finished, I ended up having another bowl. That was really yummy. Please look at how delicious this looks. I did a peach, frozen blueberries, frozen wild blueberries. Um, ugh, I just forgot I have to change my omni pot tonight. <sighs> um, chocolate granola and a piece of who chocolate. <sighs> I can't wait. I have to wait 10 minutes, but I can't wait. And then after I eat this, I'm literally going to bed. It's 7 p.m. It's 6.52. I can't believe I missed the halftime show. I'm like not over that yet. All right, you guys. An incredible call. Game just ended. I did do? leave it on for the entirety of the game. Did not watch, but it was on. So that counts for something. But the end of this vlog here. I'm going to bed. 7.50. I'm going to pop some melatonin and we're going to sleep. Right, sir? <laughs> And we will try again tomorrow. Today was not the day, but that's okay. Maybe tomorrow will be. Love you all so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys so super soon in the next one. Good night.